For testing a VR or MR application, do you know what's easier than sending a build to your friends or colleagues and asking them to sideload it? It's sending the application directly to their headset. This has many advantages like your friends and colleagues will absolutely love you for not putting them through the trouble of sideloading the app every single time. And you get to see your app inside the app library and not inside unknown sources. So in this video, I'll show you how to configure your app and upload it to the app lab. Step number one is to create a developer's account. For that, you can visit developer.oculus.com and log in with your Meta account. I would highly recommend you to use the same account that you would have used to log in inside your headset. Then click on My Apps and here you need to create a new organization. So enter your organization name. Now, if you don't have one, you can create one or you can give your name. But remember that the name that you choose here will be displayed publicly in the store. Then you can read the note, click on I understand and submit. Then you will have to verify your organization by filling up a form. The form is really simple and not that hard. And they say that it might take a couple of days for them to verify it. However, mine was done within half a day. As you can see here, mine is verified. And if you're not able to find it, it's inside requirements verification. Once that's done, you can go inside my apps, click on create a new app. Enter a name for your app, select MetaQuest App Lab and click on create. Step number two is to download the MetaQuest Developer Hub software and you can get that by visiting developer.oculus.com. Scroll down till you find Developer Hub, click on download and download it from here. Once you have it downloaded and installed, open it up and log in with the same Meta account that you used earlier. Step number three is to set up your Unity project and build the application. So open your Unity project, go inside file, build settings, player settings. Here, make sure to have a company name, product name and a version. Inside the other settings, you need to uncheck auto graphics API. You need to have your override default package name checked. Set the minimum API level to 10. You need to have the scripting backend to IL2CPP. Make sure that you have the ARM64 checked as well. Now, the most important step here is to digitally sign your application by creating a digital certificate, also known as Keystore. You can do this by scrolling all the way down and going inside publishing settings. Select Keystore Manager. From the drop down, you can create a new key in a dedicated location. Give your file a name and click on save. Here you need to enter a password for your Keystore and re-enter it to confirm it. Next create a new key and enter a password and confirm that as well. Feel free to add other details and click on add key. Then it will ask you if you want to add this key to your project, click on yes. Then you can close this window, go inside build, enter your application name and click on save. Step number four is to upload your build to App Lab. Once you have your build completed, open the MetaQuest Developer Hub, go inside App Distribution, select the app that you created and here you'll see four release channels. You can upload in any of these three. For now, I'm going to upload it inside Alpha. So click on Upload, select the app that you just built, click on Next, go through these document and click on Upload. Now, if the progress bar goes away and you don't get any error message, it means that your app has been successfully uploaded, but you're not able to see anything here. And that's because there'll be a test running in the background. So if you visit your developer's account, select your app, click on builds. Here you'll see that the test status is running. Once the test status is complete, you can go inside the release channels and here you need to self certify the age. So you can click on start, select the age group that is applicable, click on continue and click on confirm. Then select the alpha channel, select users, click on invite users, add your email ID that's linked to your meta account and also add the email IDs of users that you want to send the app to. Click on I agree and send the invitation. Once the user accepts the invite, they can put on their headset, open the app library and just like that, they'll be able to see your app. All they need to do now is install it and then test it. Now that's so cool, right? But there's more. Let's assume that you want to develop this app further before you roll out the next updates. For that, you can go inside File, Build Settings, Player Settings and change the version to 0.2 or any other number, but make sure it's different. And here, once again, you need to change the bundle version code to some other number that's there. Then you can connect your headset to your PC using the link cable and then go inside the uh, run devices. You can refresh it. You can select your Quest 3, click on Build and Run and you can select the same app or different app. It's up to you and click on Save. 
and click on yes and here you can see that i was not able to build the application because it's saying that it cannot sign the app so to fix this you need to go inside player settings go inside publishing settings and here you need to enter the password that you entered earlier and enter the key password as well and now if you go back and click on build and run and save your application this time it will build for sure now as you can see here the build has been completed and i can see the application inside my headset now you can repeat this process again and again and build multiple times till you're satisfied with your update once you're ready to roll out your update you can open the meta quest developer hub select the same app once again click on upload and upload the updated app click on next upload and wait for this to finish once that's done you can put on your headset and here the app should get updated automatically if it does not you can click on these three dots and you will have an option to update it if you still don't see it then ask the users to restart their headset and after that for sure you'll be able to see the update option and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one